do you want your 12 gauge shells to smell like birthday cake? Oh, dude, that actually smells really good. If you do, watch this video. Okay, in this video, we got this is a pretty fun little project. So, I was drinking last night, of course, always starts out that way. And I got my wife uh, a candle for, I think, her birthday. Yeah, it was birthday cake smelling candle. It smells really good. It smells just like birthday cake, like the cake mix. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make some wax wax shells. So these are wax slugs. You just make them with candle wax. And they, they are really impressive. You just cut the top off and you fill this with candle wax. And it holds all the BBs together. And you got yourself actually a really impressive slug like you'll be impressed how good these things actually work so this is just a bird shot 12 gauge super cheap and i will show you we'll shoot this this cocksucker right in the face with <laughs> regular bird shot from a distance and you'll see like it wouldn't kill a deer but you put some candle wax in here for free you know from uh, you'll see how powerful it is. This will absolutely kill deer. Easy. And then on top of that, we got some buckshot. This is double up buck, 15 pallet, double up buck. This is going to be really impressive. I don't think I ever did double up buck with a wax. Uh, I'll shoot the lead block with this guy. We'll see what happens there. This is copper. This is a turkey. This has copper BBs in, three inch magnum. So is that buckshot, I think. Yeah, that buckshot's a three-inch mag, too. And I got some bird shot. And then this, it's a Nitro Express. I used to hunt a lot of pheasant. We always use these. Uh, it's like extra high brass. It has a little bit more power and velocity, but it's still a number six shot. So there's a lot of BBs in here. These things, if you hunt pheasants, this is a perfect, uh, this one's a little old. That's why I figured I'd sacrifice it. These are very good pheasant rounds. So let me quit talking. We're going to shoot this cocksucker in this cocksucker. And then we'll do bird shot. And then we'll use either the, we'll probably use the copper. This is five gallons of water. We'll use that there. The double up buck on the lead. And then the nitro. Hmm, oh, maybe the microwave or something. But I'm going to clean up, I'm going to put some hay down first because the range is looking a little rough. Let me do that and then we'll get right into it. Okay, we're not very far back. Uh, at this distance, you probably would kill a deer with birdshot. I think you would. Maybe I'll try to zoom you in some. Yeah, you probably would, but we're, we'll, let's see what it does. Regular birdshot. It's like number eight shot, too. So at this distance, you probably would, but... Yeah, I think you would kill a deer, but let's just see the difference. Okay, it's actually pretty good, so it hit hard. <laughs> You can see, you got, you got pepper pretty good. That <clears throat> that's probably about the the max if you're trying to kill like a big game. So let's see, same thing, number eight shot with waxing. Let's see what it does. Okay, here we are, same distance, just wax slug. You can tell I was drinking when I made these. Here we go. Try to get right in the face here. much better it smells good if you can smell the birthday cake leave a like okay much more powerful uh it blew it to pieces or some back there heart can't even find a like the his face but uh you can see much more narrower and then it just opened up once it came through there so much more powerful so that being said i guess let's shoot the the bucket and we'll now we're here let's sh let's shoot this thing with that nitro express so yeah let's do that okay here's the nitro express six shot we'll zoom you guys in yeah, right about there so you can tell that one just kind of blew the wax out they don't always work the best but it did hold it tighter than before so that one wasn't too good i don't let's try the buckshot maybe let's do 
or the bucket. Buckshot, bucket, buckshot, bucket. We'll do the bucket. No, we'll do buckshot. Okay, we moved a little close in the danger zone. This is a three inch double up block, 15 pallet. I think when me and John did this before, we noticed like the bigger, more powerful shells kind of blow the wax out. <laughs> I remember he tried some with glue. I think they worked, I can't remember. But, uh, that's actually, I might move back a hair. Just look at that, it's like, hmm. Alrighty. Let's see what happens. Oh, definitely had some kick to it, for sure. Seemed to hold together pretty good. Let's go check it out. Okay, so it didn't hold together perfect, but pretty decent. Like, them ones, they were stuck together. This group was pretty close. So, not perfect, but definitely better. And it smells good. So, let's just end this little video thing that I got on here with this bucket of water. Let's do that. <clears throat> yeah either way it'll be cool yeah we got the three inch turkey round it's like copper bb's like i said it does smell good in here all righty let's see what happens yeah definitely had some recoil on this thing <laughs> look at that bucket it is messed up there <laughs> okay yeah definitely took the bucket out so thanks for watching guys I mean, we still got some shit on the table we need to take it off <laughs> thanks for watching guys catch you in the next one